In this video, I'm going to be telling you about Aurora, ticker symbol ACB. Specifically, we're going to talk about Aurora's current price to see if it's going to hold up or whether it's likely that the stock will tank. And we're going to be starting right now. What is going on? My name is Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your wealth through investing and trading in the stock market, make sure you start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss a thing. So if you're watching this video, hi, go ahead and smash that like button. I'm just kidding with you guys. You don't have to smash that like button, but do let me know down in the comments below. For those of you that have been holding ACB shares for at least the last couple of weeks, I can only imagine that this has been a very exciting time for you guys. Uh, we saw a rally last week, and then we see another 31% rally when ACB made the headlines once again on Wednesday, announcing that the company would be buying Reli Reliva, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, if not, somebody let me know. Um, Reliva is a US-based CBD company. This is huge for ACB, as this is most definitely a strategic play and opens up the door for Aurora to enter the US CBD market. ACB has agreed to pay out $40 million to Reliva shareholders as part of this deal. Unfortunately, however, they're going to be getting this money through the issuance of new shares. Aurora's story overall, and especially over the last year, has been one of pain and struggles as the company completely tanked and lost 90% of its stock value. Many analysts also predicted that ACB would not survive. The stock fell below a dollar and sat there for months until the company did a reverse split. I have to say that a reverse split isn't exactly a bullish thing when it comes to stocks. Historically, what happens is that, you know, a company will have a reverse split, but then most definitely get back to trading at the same price before the actual split happened. Nevertheless, there are a lot of bullish investors that, you know, are crazy about ACB. Um, you can look at, you know, even something like Robinhood's 25 most popular stocks. And, you know, see that they're, that ACB is up there uh, in the top 25. One of the main things that the company was always criticized for in the past was its inability to secure one of those big money partners or big money partnerships that some of the other cannabis or metal, medical marijuana stocks or companies rather have been able to secure. Um... I'm sure you guys all remember the rumors about Coke, where Coke was supposed to partner up with or acquire ACB. Uh, we've heard that a few times in the past, but it has never happened, which is too bad for ACB because such a thing would most certainly guarantee its future. So according to ACB on the actual Reliva deal, ACB says that Reliva sells products through about 20,000 different retail locations in the United States and has achieved a non-standard measure of profitability. Uh, through my own research, you know, I, I will agree that Reliva has been growing uh, each year, so it's showing consistent growth. However, um, if I can remember correctly, they're only generating like $20 million um, dollars in profit. Um, each year, so I don't know how significant that's going to be to uh, ACB's bottom line. As far as Reliva's online presence, um, we know that they need some improvement in that department. Uh, right now, they really don't have a strong online presence. Um, 
which is definitely something that you know ACB will want to work on. So the deal itself is actually set to close in June and Aurora could be responsible for paying on additional or paying an additional $45 million, which is on top of the original $40 million that they have paid or that they're going to be paying. So where are they going to get this money from? Again, just like the original $40 million that they're paying out, which I want to say would be equivalent to about 2 million uh, shares. They're going to do the same thing to come up with this second $45 million. So be expecting some dilutions in the share price. And as far as management for Reliva goes, as of now, Aurora has actually indicated that Reliva will remain under the same management. So in my personal opinion on Aurora stock, ticker symbol ACB, and whether or not it's a buy, um, and before I get into that, let me say that I am just a guy on YouTube, so this is not investing advice. You do need to consult with a professional. Um, this is just my opinion or for entertainment purposes only. All right, so getting back to it. In my opinion, ACB may be a decent one to own if you can stomach that type of risk. Personally, I do not own any ACB and I do not plan on owning the stock uh, probably ever. Um, I'm just, it just doesn't sound like a good buy to me. If I were to get into cannabis and at some point I probably, you know, will, um, there are other stocks I would be looking at other than ACB, but uh, that's a whole nother video that I'll be making uh, at some point. Matter of fact, if that is a video that you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments and I will work on that. Um, in my opinion, the company is a little overvalued. Um, essentially, you know, it's been in a downtrend, even trading under a dollar. For quite some time, then all of a sudden they do reverse splits, they beat earnings expectations during a time when, you know, everybody's kind of forced to be at home and everybody, you know, wants to get all bullish on this thing and go crazy and, you know, run the stock price up to 17 bucks or wherever it's trading at right now. I mean, bottom line for me, and it's it's not that I don't believe in the company or that I don't like the company or anything like that. Um, I just think, you know, number one, the industry is risky to be in right now. You know, um, there's just much better plays out there, you know, in, in my mind than to be sitting in pot stocks and waiting to see what happens. You know, there's too many uncertainties with the legal side of things, um, we really don't know which of these companies will survive. Uh, but I would say that, you know, my money, if I were to be invested in these, would be on the ones that already have a partnership um, rather than something like ACB. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but, you know, I, I really don't care. That's the truth. This is nothing more than a speculative speculative stock at this time um is it worth a trade sure but uh it's not something that i would even really feel comfortable swing trading to be honest with you so those of you that are watching it watching it run up now don't get fomo don't jump in definitely do not buy at these prices so is it possible that it's going to go higher yeah it's very possible it probably will go a little bit higher but it's even more likely that the company will get will go lower. I mean, this thing will probably at some point drop. That is, again, just my opinion. Don't buy or sell this stock based on what I'm telling you. Um, do your own research, you know, and make your own decision. This is just my personal opinion. But I can tell you that, you know, I've been around for a while. I've been around when all the pot stocks were trading at just ridiculous prices for no reason at all. And I've been around when, you know, they crashed and all burned. So all in all, um, right now, I'm going to have to say that I'm very bearish on ACB. 
Um, that may change in the future, but right now, I mean, ACB and the entire sector, it's just not something that's very attract. I'm, I'm very attracted to. So I'm going to be staying away um, unless I see an opportunity for a short trade. But um, right now I see better opportunities for stocks that I could be trading or swinging. So I'm kind of uh, doing that. But, you know, even more importantly, the main reason I'm not investing in this stock is because it's a sin stock and I, I care about my image, okay? No, I'm totally messing with you guys. I could care less about that. I'm here to make money just like everybody else. And right now, this just didn't seem like the place for me to be making money at. To kind of, I guess, back myself up here a little bit. Um, there's been several analysts that have weighed in on this topic uh, about ACB. And I would say that, you know, their opinion seems to be very similar to... Um, to mine, I want to say it was about 18 different, uh, 18 different analysts and they had a crazy wide range, um, when, when it came to valuing Aurora cannabis. And to me, that pretty much suggests that, uh, you know, coming up with a valuation for this company is going to be very hard, you know, to say the least. Um, but these analysts did seem to all agree that the company is predicted to grow at the same rate as the wider industry. So you're basically, you know, it's coming with the same risks as the rest of the sector for the most part, at least. But there are definitely, you know, some uh, medical marijuana companies out there that I will say do have an advantage. And if you guys had listened to this entire video then you already know which ones I'm thinking about or which ones are on my mind and obviously those are going to be the ones that have those big strong partnerships with companies that have money and can, and can support them uh, during tough times because to be honest with you guys I see a lot of uh, you know tough times ahead for this sector so Keep that in mind. And I do want to, again, you know, encourage everybody to go out there and do your own due diligence, you know, do, do your own research and look into this company and other companies that are alike that you can compare this company to and, you know, look into the challenges that this industry will be facing before, you know, holding any type of shares or any type of large position in this. And, uh, you know, just remember, there is a reason that overall this company is down 90% on the share price. You know, there's a good reason for that. So let this company prove itself before you actually jump in, you know, to invest in this thing. Don't get FOMO on what's going on right now, or you'll essentially be left holding the bag. So... Anyhow, guys, um, I hope I didn't uh, irritate too many of you. Um, I know these are the type of videos that get some people ticked off and then we'll have some negative comments and a few dislikes, but, you know, that's okay. Um, I make these videos to help out those that do not know any better. And, you know, if I save somebody from holding a bag or losing too much money, then it's all been worth it to me. Anyhow, guys, uh, that does it for me. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next And before I do forget, please let me know in the comments uh, if you guys are holding ACB stock, what your opinion is, whether you agree with me or not, as I am kind of curious to see uh, how, how many of you guys are actually holding. Um... Also, if you found this content useful, you know, be sure to smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss another video. All right, guys, I'll see y'all next time.